Hello, how are you, Oscar? How are you, Oscar? Hello, Mr. Degua. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine, thanks for asking. How was your day today? Hey, it's heavy. It was heavy? Yes, heavy work. Okay, but uh, you're gonna relax in this class, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't I know. Calling. I don't know if you saw the WhatsApp group. I sent you some uh, some pictures in the WhatsApp group. Oh yeah. That we are going to be using. We are yeah. going to be using uh, those pictures tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, the simple pressing. Mm. Yeah, but that that was that was the 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 file. But later, like maybe half an hour ago, I sent you three pictures to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So look um, at the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Let me show you my WhatsApp. <sighs> So in the in the WhatsApp group, I send you this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I send you these pictures that we are going to be using tonight. Okay. Get out the yoga, take a shower, have breakfast, brush my teeth. Okay, and also I send you this. Okay, go to bed, wake up. Uh, this is the daily. This is what we usually do every day. Daily yeah. routines. Daily routine. Daily routines, that's right. It, it is least. Well, there are some things that we do, and this is a list. Uh huh. Yeah. That one is a list. Okay. Do the laundry, hang the clothes, iron clothes, make the bed. So there are some things that we do. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be using all that tonight. Okay. All tonight. All. Oh, we're going to be using all that tonight. Okay, good evening, guys. How are you today? Welcome to the class. Delia, Enrique, Jacqueline, Catherine, Francisco. Okay, I don't know if you have the chance to see your WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, I send you these daily routines and I send you these pictures. 
Ah, I don't know. You are not you are not looking at it. Okay, so at the WhatsApp group, I send you this list with daily routines, daily activities list. And also I send you I send you these pictures, okay? So have them ready because you are going, we are going to talk about our daily activities, okay? As soon as we get started, okay? So let me, let me see. Okay, only one, two, three, Oscar. Bessie, good evening, Bessie, Francisco Edgardo. Okay, very good. So we're gonna wait another minute. So maybe other students can, can incorporate. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go with this picture, okay? First of all. I'm gonna go with this picture, okay? Okay? And you can see here in this picture, we have what we usually do every day, okay? We go to bed, we wake up, we make our bed, we brush our teeth, we take a bath or we take a shower, we brush our hair, we get dressed, we make dinner, we have breakfast, we drive to work, we get home, we go to school, we surf on the net, we play with friends, we do the laundry, we iron the clothes, we hang the clothes. We vacuum the floor. We put makeup. We wash the car. We water the plant. We go for a walk. We go out with a friend. We play the guitar. We take pictures. We go shopping and we exercise questions about vocabulary hi teacher what is the mean vacuum the floor vacuum the floor is aspirar con la aspiradora vacuum the floor aspirar el piso so you see that is a vacuum cleaner esa es una aspiradora vacuum cleaner Okay, so that is aspirar el piso, generalmente la alfombra. More questions? Teacher, so surf the net. Surf the net es eh, navegar en, la, en el internet. Navegar en la web. Okay, surf the net. You see, she has a computer and she's supposed to be investigating something. Okay. More questions? Up. More questions? No questions, no more questions. Now, when you say, I go to bed, I wake up, I make my bed, I brush my teeth, I take a bath. Well, bath is in Latina. But you will see in the next picture. Okay, let me get this out of the way. On the next picture that I have. Okay, you can see. Okay, maybe I will make it a little bigger. Okay, get up, do yoga, and you see here, this is take a shower. 
Esta es tomar una ducha. And the other one, cuando es en la tina, that is take a bath. En una tina de baño. Have breakfast, brush my teeth, get dressed, go to work, start work at eight, have a meeting, have lunch, finish work, arrive home, cook dinner, have dinner, watch TV, go to bed. Questions? Questions, guys? No questions. No questions. Are you sure? Teacher. Yes, sir. <clears throat> eh, en el caso de, o sea, de no ser un baño con ducha, sino que con guacal sería lo mismo. <laughs> yeah, it's take a shower. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> okay, good question. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, it's, for, it's time for you to repeat after me. Get up. Get up. Get up. Everybody, repeat after me. Get up. Get, get, up. Up. get up. Get up. Do yoga. Do yoga. Do yoga. Take a shower. Take, Take a shower. shower. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush my teeth. My teeth. Get dressed. Get, get dressed. Get dressed. Go to work. Go to Go work. work. Start work at eight. Start work at eight. Have a meeting. Have a meeting. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Finish work. Finish work. Arrive home. Arrive home. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Watch TV. Watch TV. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, repeat after me. Go to bed. Go to bed. Wake up. Make my bed. Make my bed. Brush my teeth. Take a bath. Take a nap. Brush my hair. Brush my hair. Get dressed. Get dress. Get dress. Make dinner. Make dinner. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. breakfast. Drive to work. Drive to work. Get home. Go to school. Go to school. Surf the net. Surf the net. Play with friends. Play with friends. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the next one is play with friends. Play with friends. Okay. Next. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. I own the clothes. I own the clothes. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Vacuum the floor. Vacuum the floor. Put on makeup. Wash the car. 
Watch, watch the car. car. Water the plant. Water the plant. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go, for a walk. Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. Play the guitar. Take pictures. Go shopping. Go shopping. Exercise. Okay, now we're going to check list. Okay, real quick. We are going to check the list. Okay, so let me get to the list right here. I have it right here. Okay. Uh, number one, Bessie Stephanie Mendez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Andres Ramos Galicia. Ok, eh, César Eduardo Alfaro Parada. Present. Ok, very good. Eh, Cristina Marisol García. Cristina Marisol. Tiene problemas con el internet, dijo teacher, en el grupo. Ah, vaya, pero no está, ¿verdad? Tal vez se incorpora más tarde. Mm -mm. Ok. Delia Noemí Valiente. Present. Thank you. Eh, Enrique Américo Molina. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Edgardo Méndez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jeremías Adonai Miranda López. Ok. Karen Yesenia López Martínez. Present. Ok, thank you. Eh, Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mario Mauricio Montano. Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Roberto Antonio Ortiz Reyes. Here. Ok, thank you. Sandra Marisela Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Sochil Eneida Vázquez Valencia. Present. Ok. Ok. Eh, Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas Pérez. Present. Thank you. Jenny Suleima Santos Chávez. Present. Ok. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, let's continue. Okay. Now, I'm going to break you into groups. Okay. Into pairs. And you're going to tell your classmates back. Primero voy a dejar de compartir. Quiero verlos a todos. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, Mario Montano ya se ya se incorporó. Okay, Mario Mario Montano. Okay, number eleven. Okay, so it's okay. Okay. Ah, Ramon también. Okay, Ramon number fourteen. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five accents. Okay, very good. So now take a look. Uh, I send you, and I'm gonna show you. I send you to the WhatsApp group. I send you this picture, and I also send you this picture. Okay, and I also send you. Uh oh, and I also send you this picture. Okay, 
Now, repeat after me with this picture, okay? Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up. Wake up. up. Have breakfast. Have, Have breakfast. breakfast. Have breakfast. Do, exercise. Do exercise. exercise. Wash the face. Wash the face. Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Wash TV. Wash the teeth. Brush the teeth. Brush the teeth. Drive to work. Drive to work. Drive to work. Play soccer. Play soccer. Play soccer. Take a shower. Take a shower. Okay, very good. Also, I have sent you to your to your um. I also send you to the, uh, to the WhatsApp group. I also send to the WhatsApp group, I send this list, okay? I send this list. What is this list? They use Repeat after me, do the laundry. Do the laundry. Okay, well, we're going to sum it up. We're going to sum it up a little bit so we can take a better look, okay? Okay, do the laundry. Do the laundry. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Make the bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Wake up. Wake up. Brush the teeth. Brush the teeth. Drive to work. Get home. Get home. Take a bath. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf the net. Play with friends. Play with friends. Go to school. Go to school. Go shopping. Go shopping. Exercise. Wash the car. Wash the car. Get dressed. Get 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 Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. Take pictures. Play the guitar. Water the plant. Go for help. Go for help. Work. 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 Have breakfast. Have, 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 have lunch. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Make dinner. Make dinner. Fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Surf the net. Surf the net. net. Feed the dog. The dog. Take a taxi. Wait for the bus. Paint the picture. Okay, have a break. Have a break. Or take a break. Take a break. Walk the dog. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Break the leaves. Break the leaves. Read the news. Read the news. Clean the window. Clean the window. Cut the grass. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Paint the house. Paint the house. Okay, now questions about vocabulary or questions about pronunciation. 
Ok, acuérdense que esto usted lo tiene en su... Voy a compartir, esto usted lo tiene aquí en el WhatsApp web. En el WhatsApp web es esta lista, va, Daily Routines, Daily Activities. Usted la tiene, la puede bajar y la puede... Yo le sugiero que la tenga accesible, porque lo voy a poner en, en parejas para que ustedes se digan cuáles son las acciones que usted hace. What are your daily routines? ¿Cuáles son sus acciones rutinarias? ¿Cuáles son sus rutinas diarias? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Y ahí usted va escogiendo. Puede usar las fotos también, ¿ok? O puede usar la lista. ¿Está claro? ¿Hay preguntas? Hello, ¿hay preguntas? No. 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 Vale, ok. Bien, lo voy a poner en grupos. Hey, let's see. Ok, en pair. Quiero ver cuántos tengo. Voy a dejar de compartir un momentito. Ok. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Bien, vamos a hacer siete grupos, ¿ok? Y uno va a ser un trío. Ok, Elia, Enrique, y Jacqueline, go to room number one. Francisco. Acuérdense, usted tiene que decir de toda esa lista cuáles son sus rutinas diarias. ¿Ok? Eh, room number two, Roberto Antonio. Room number three, Karen. Room number four, Mario y Oscar. Room number five, Jenny. Room number six, Bessie. Room number six, Bessie. Jenny, room number five. Mario Montano, room number four. Mario, go to room number four, Mario. Okay, very good. La señala, sí. How have you been, Jacqueline? Hola. Hello. Hola, hola. Okay, Enrique, tell your class, Hello. please, what are your daily routines, okay? And then Delia will share what are her daily routines and then Jacqueline, okay? Go ahead, Enrique. Okay, okay my daily routines, routines are when we wake up. I wake I, up? What time I do you wake, wake up? up? It depends that I need to do. For example, today I woke up at 4.30 a.m. Okay. Go ahead, tell, tell your routines, tell your routines, please. Okay. I wake up, then I take a shower, then I go for the work. Um, today I start to work at 5.30 a.m. Then I take a lunch, I have a lunch. I have lunch, then, okay. I have lunch. Then I finish my work. Then I go to, to home. I get home. I have a dinner and start a class. And I start the class. Okay, remember that you can uh, you can get help with your list. Okay, or with the pictures. You can help yourself to see what activities you do. Okay, Delia, what do you do, Delia? What are your daily routines? Uh, okay, my daily routine, uh, I wake up. Today, my dinner, I uh, take care of my son, and then I connect to, to the class. Uh, 
también creo que mencioné varios, ¿verdad? Ok, remember to mention the most you can. Acuérdense de mencionar lo más que pueda. You can use the picture or you can use the list. Ok. Ok, what about you, Catherine? Yes. Well, and in my case, and let me see, in my case, uh, in the morning, I get up at 6 a.m. And later, I take a shower. I brush my teeth. After that, I <clears throat> go to work. Ah, you uh, don't get dressed, Catherine. Sorry, what? You don't get dressed. <laughs> yes, I dress. I get dressed. I get dressed. I get dressed. I have a breakfast, and later I take a bath. After that, I go to work, and I go to work at. 7 a.m. Later, I start to work at 8 a.m. Um, after that, I um, finish to work at 6 p.m. And later, I arrive home at 7 p.m. After that, I cook dinner. And I have dinner, and later I take. Okay, do you have the chance to tell your daily activities? Yes. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. Bessie, remember that uh, from 10 to 10, 10, we have we, uh, your private uh, class, okay? From 10 okay. to 10, 10, okay? Very good.
Teacher. Yes, sir. ¿Qué significa rubbish? Rubbish. Rubbish means garbage, trash, basura, rubbish. So I take out the rubbish, saco la basura, ¿verdad? I take out the rubbish. Okay, very good, guys. Now, we're going to go to the book. Okay? We're going to go to the book. Okay, so let me share the book right here. No. Let me see where do I have the book. Let me see. Ah, can find my book. Okay, so I'm going to open it again. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I have my book right here. Okay, remember that yesterday we stopped on this page, on page 22. Ah, we were supposed to do this, right? I'm sorry. We stop right here on page 20, okay? And we are supposed to start daily routines and we'll be able to describe a partner's daily routine at work. So, as a classmate, what is your daily routine? So we already talked about your daily routine. What do you do on weekends? Okay, for example, uh, Jacqueline, what do you do on weekends? Enrique, what do you do on weekends? So sometimes at weekends I work, but when I don't work, I rest and maybe do the chores. Do the chores in the house, okay. Mario, yes. what do you do on weekends? Working? Okay, maybe you work, maybe, I don't know. Bessie, what do you do on weekends? I uh, ha, uh, do the laundry. I do the laundry, what else? Yes, and I hang out the clothes, I clean my bedroom, I cook uh, lunch and dinner, Sometimes I go to a church. Okay, very good. Ramon, what do you do on weekends? Um, um, half time work. Um, uh, play with my son. Uh, no, play with my shield, child, children. Ch Children, 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 if it is more than one. Child, if it is only one. Um, watch, um, watch TV. Um, go to work. Um, wash the car. Um, take many pictures. Um, have the lunch. Um, no, uh, make the lunch. Um, for the family, go shopping. Hey, excellent, very good. Sochil, what do you do on weekends, Sochil? Sochil, what do you do on weekends, Sochil? Turn on your microphone. Um. Play with friends, um, go shopping, teach a guest, dress. Get dressed, and vestirse. And get undressed, and vestirse. Like when you go to sleep, you get undressed. 
Okay. Sandra, what do you do on weekends, Sandra? My routine in the week is I get up at 6, 6 a.m. and I work in the whole week and I cook the dinner and I have the class with my baby. Okay, very good. Jacqueline, what do you do on your weekends? Jacqueline? Get up at 6 a.m. and take a shower. Okay. Um, brush my Okay. Wait for the bath. Okay. Go to work. On weekends, on weekends. Los fines de semana. Go to shopping. Take okay. a lunch. Okay, very good. And Roberto Antonio, what do you do on weekends, Robert? In the morning, I wake up at 6 a.m. After that, I have a breakfast. Later, I drive to my work. Later, I at, at 7 p.m. I go to my house. Later, I have a dinner. After that, brush my teeth. And later, I go to the bed. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo, what do you do on weekends, Oscar? I get out about 10 p.m. This... Uh, Take, take a shower, ¿verdad? I, I take my breakfast, uh, I visit the park with my family, I go to the shopping, and um, get, get to home, uh, go to diner. Dinner, dinner. The diner, dinner, take the dinner, um, go to bed. Okay, very good. Jeannie, what do you do on weekends? Hi, I wake up, uh, then I cook breakfast, uh, then watch TV and clean the house. Before dinner, I go to room or go to park with my son. Okay. Um, Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I cook the I cook dinners and go to bed. Okay, Delia, what do you do on weekends? Okay, in my weekend sometimes um um I go to work and visit to my parents, but the most the most of the time share with my husband. Okay, very good. Cesar, what do you do on weekends, Cesar? Um, wake up later. Um, I I take a shower. Um, I have a breakfast. Um, the lunch. Um, receive. Uh, Receive class of the university. Um, uh, I do my my I do my homeworks. Um, the pues, lo normal. Um, go up to bed. Okay, Karen. What do you do on weekends, Karen? And most of the time I have to go to work on weekends because I work at a hotel. But if I stay at home on weekends, 
I wake up early because uh, I can't sleep more. <laughs> and I prepare a delicious breakfast from my family. And then I wash the clock. And then I, I cook the, the lunch. And in the afternoon, I, I spend time with my family, with my son. I go to the park to, to go in bicycle. And then uh, I come back home and go to rest. Okay, very good. Catherine, what do you do on weekends, Catherine? Well, on Sunday, I go to Chalatenango because I'm doing my social service. On Saturday, um, I walk with my dog and later I go, go out with my boyfriend and uh, later I wash my sweater, sweater, sweater. I try to rest and sometimes I go to shop. That's Okay, it. very good, very good. Now, take a look at this. I have this conversation on page, on page 21 this conversation between uh, two co-workers. Now, listen carefully. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends? Is that clear? Questions? Questions, questions about pronunciation or questions about vocabulary? Teacher, no. I have a question. Yes, what, what is you... arrange? Arrange, arrange meetings. Arrange. She arranged meetings. Ella hace arreglos para reuniones. Ella arregla las reuniones. Okay? okay. So she arranged meetings. Ella Hace todos los arreglos para las reuniones. More questions? Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper es el tenedor de libros. Como contador, bookkeeper. Ok. More questions? Sí, teacher. Tai. Ah, Tai. Apretado o okay. apretada. So, her schedule is very tight. Su horario es muy apretado. Ok. Thanks. Ok, more questions? No more questions. Ok, repeat after me. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, How Cindy. Are How, How, are are you? You? How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Fine. Fine. I, I have many, many things to do this week, this week. Is but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? 
On Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is so busy, and on weekends, Okay, again, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning, good morning Cindy. Cindy. How are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? Really? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. The new secretary. And what does she do the other days? Uh, on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she She is so busy, and on weekends? Okay, very good, guys. So now I'm going to break you into pairs so you can practice the conversation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make A, A groups, okay? A groups. Yes, sir. Con respecto a la pronunciación de una palabra del texto de la conversación. Ajá, what, what, which one? Ok, let me, let me put it, let me put it there for you. Ajá, which one? Usted me acuerdo, ¿se acuerdan que yo le dije que me ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál es la palabra? Her, esa, esa, Coral. Ah, schedule. Esta. Correcto. Horari. Schedule. S schedule. S schedule. 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 Okay, very good, guys. Let me put you into pairs, okay? Okay. Okay, here we are. Wait, wait, wait. We put one more. Okay, go ahead. Cesar and Karen, go to room one. Delia and Jacqueline, room number two. Enrique and Sandra, room number three. Roberto and Sochil, room number four. Oscar and Ramon, room number five. Francisco and Jeannie, room number six. Bessie and Mario, room number seven, and Catherine, eh, go to room number eight, please. Okay? Bessie and Mario, room number seven. Francisco and Jeannie, room number six, please. Bessie, room number seven. Francisco, room number six, please. Bessie, room number seven, please. Bessie, Bessie, room number seven, please. Bessie, Bessie, are you there? Go to room number seven. Catherine, go to room number seven, please. Okay, very good. Go ahead, practice.
la pantalla. Ok. Ah, sí, tengo la, tengo la página. Bessie, Bessie, go to room number eight, Bessie. <laughs> Mario and Catherine are going to practice here. Bessie, go to room number eight, ok? Go to room number eight. Bye bye, Bessie. Bye. Ay. No lo puedo escuchar, teacher. Okay, okay now, now you can hear me, okay? Good morning, uh, Bessie, how are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes report about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some email to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranged meeting. She is so busy. And on weekends? Now, let's switch roles, Bessie. You start. Now you are Cindy. No, you are Janet. Janet. Okay. Good morning, Roberto. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy in a weekend. Okay, very good, very good. One more time. Good morning, uh, Bessie, how are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends? Okay, let's switch. Okay, good morning, Roberto. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranged meetings. She's so busy in a weekend. Okay, very good. Now, let me come back. Okay, we're going to come back. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, guys. Now, let me share what I have here uh, for you, okay? Okay, now, let me see that everybody is back, okay? That's the only thing, that everybody is back. Okay, let me see. Bessie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there are some that are still in the little groups. Uh, 
Okay, now everybody's back. Okay, very good. Okay, now let me share with you here. Okay, now read the conversation again to complete the chart. We got this information. Also, what other activities you think Kathy does in the other days of the week? Okay, let's no see. Se what? No está compartiendo. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So I am on the book, guys. Okay, so read the conversation again to complete the chart. We got this information. Okay. And also, what other activity you think Kathy does in the other days of the week? Okay, I'm gonna make this smaller so you can see better, okay? Okay, for example, what does what does uh, the secretary do on Monday? What does Kathy do on Monday? She makes, she many, makes phone many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls and what else? She writes reports. She writes reports about the production. She writes reports about the production. Okay, what does she do on Wednesday? She sends some emails. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. She sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And what does she do on Friday? She arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. Meeting. Now. What do you think she does on Tuesday? What do you think she does on Tuesday? Remember that she is the secretary. She answers the call. She answers the phone. Okay, very good. That is great. She answers uh, right here. Okay, she, she answers. Okay, she, let me see. She answers the phone. What else does she do? Can you tell me? She shaped the report. Ah, okay, very good. Another one. She checks reports. She checks the reports. Okay, very good. Now, what does she do on Thursday? What do you think she does on Thursday? Huh? Hmm? What do you think she does on Thursday? Uh -huh. she, what does she do on she Thursday? Checks, she checks the emails. Okay, she checks emails. Okay, what else? Right, uh, she writes mm -hmm. report about um, sales. Okay. Okay, another one is that she writes, she uh, writes emails about sales. Okay, very good. And we hope that she doesn't work on Saturday, okay? <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, listen to a conversation about two people talking about their daily routines, okay? Listen to two people talking about their daily routines. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, now, here. 
Uh, whether you are trying to get online, an online MBA, or just going to a local college, okay, remember, this is MBI, a master degree. Online, online. Or going to a local college, there are, or yendo a, un, a una universidad local, there are a number of things you have to consider, including location, cost, and the reputation of the school. Hay muchas cosas que tenemos que considerar, incluso la ubicación, el costo y la reputación del, del, de la universidad. What factor is most important to you? What factor is most important for you? Location, cost, or the school reputation? Cost. The cost. cost. Okay, the cost. Okay, a walking encyclopedia. Someone who seems to know everything. My roommate will do well on trivia game show. He is a walking encyclopedia. Is that clear? A person that he knows a lot of stuff. Have the right stuff. This means have the needed skills to succeed. Tener los, las habilidades necesarias para tener éxito. Susan has the right stuff to get into any school she chooses. Susan tiene las habilidades correctas para entrar en cualquier escuela que ella escoja. Okay? Now, listen. What does the man want to do after he graduates? He wants to work at a hotel. He hopes to go on to graduate school. He wants to become a teacher. Bien. He hopes to go to graduate school. Graduate school is maestría. Okay? Okay. What is the woman's major? History, computer science, or French? Ah, y aquí hasta ya nos dieron eso. How does the woman pay for college? She receives a scholarship. Recibió una beca. Her parents are paying for it. She has a part-time job. Where does the man work part-time? At a restaurant, at a bakery, or in a library? What thing did the man do not say about his job? ¿Qué no dijo el hombre acerca de su trabajo? He works long hours. The pay is okay. His co-workers are friendly. Okay? Now listen carefully, please. Dave, long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly, and the pay isn't bad. Was that clear, or you want me to play it again? Let's see. How does the woman know? Let's see, number one. What does the man want to do after he graduates? He wants to work, work at to a hotel. hotel. He wants to work at a hotel, so that is correct. 
Dave, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agent. Okay, what is the woman's major? Computer science. Computer science. Maria says, well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language, so I changed majors to computer science, okay? With the right skills, landing on a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. How does the woman pay for college? She received a scholarship. She received a scholarship, okay? She said, well, fortunately for me, I receive a four-year academic scholarship. Wow, that pays for all of my tuition and books. Where does the man work part-time? At a restaurant. At a restaurant. At a restaurant, that is okay. Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. What thing the man not say about his job? No, he said that. And he said that the pay is okay. What did he didn't say is he works long hours, right? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. So he said this too, but he didn't say that he worked long hours. Okay? Very good. Okay, very good. Now, what I want you is to listen and let me see if I find the script. Ah, right here. See, listen the script and listen, please. Okay. Okay, there you go. I'm going to play it again. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay, now, hectic means very busy. Major course of study, like for example, business administration, engineering, computer science, that is a major, okay? Carrera. Land, land a job is to secure a job, win or get a job. That is to land a job, to get a job. Work your way through school is, think through, in this case, work while going to school. Is that clear? Okay, very good. So we're going to leave this one and we're going to come back to the book. And we're going to do the second, expand your listening comprehension. So here we go. Listen to this. Mm. Describe different types of exercise that are helpful in these areas. Flexibility. A strengthening, that is, fortaleciendo, and endurance, y, eh, what it will be the resistencia. What kinds of workouts do you do? Throw in the towels means give up and accept defeat. 
throw out in the towel is tirar la toalla. That means give up, renunciar, and accept defeat. Y aceptar la derrota. Put on pounds. Poner libras en mi cuerpo. So that means gain weight, ganar peso. Okay? Now listen to this. Listen to the recording and answer the question. What does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesdays? He does aerobics, he plays tennis, or he runs. Before he goes out to exercise, he does push-ups, pechadas, stretches, estiramiento, or eat breakfast. The, the man lifts weights to strengthen his muscles, Para fortalecer sus músculos, increase his flexibility, incrementar su flexibilidad, or improve his endurance, o mejorar su resistencia. The man goes hiking on Saturdays. El, me, el hombre va a, esto es, a escalar, pero caminando. ¿Ok? On Saturday, o sea, sube montañas caminando. To visit a friend, to get rid of his worries from the week, para eh, deshacerse de sus preocupaciones de la semana, or to burn off weight from overeating, o para quemar peso de lo que comió demasiado. What does the man do on Sundays? He goes for a walk, he goes swimming, he relaxes and watches TV. Here we go. Listen carefully, please. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You know, we're out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, you know, Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't oh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. One pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. Yeah, well, it has for Friday. <laughs> Sometimes I get back at home by watching a movie <laughs> and inviting me over to visit. Exercising, but I usually take my dog. Okay. What does the man what does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesday? He plays tennis. He plays tennis? Are you sure? He runs. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? what are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You know, we're out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. You know, Mondays and oh, Wednesdays. that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Okay, so he goes... Jogging. Do you understand what is jogging? He? He runs. He runs. Okay. Michael always go jogging for about half an hour. Okay. The next question. Before he goes out to exercise, he does push-ups, stretches, or eat breakfast? Listen, listen. Uh, and of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle. Uh huh. So he he stretches. What is the meaning of stretches? Estira. Okay. Okay. Listen again. 
No, to improve my endurance. A giant refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. Of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Uh, this helps me build muscle strength. <laughs> one, one more, man. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. With dog. Well, okay, so... The man lifts weights to strengthen his muscle, increase his flexibility, or improve his endurance. To stretch his muscle. Uh -huh, to strengthen his muscle. Okay, this helps me build muscle strength. And the man goes hiking on Saturdays to visit a friend, to get rid of his worries from the week, or to burn off weight from over overeating. Listen. And I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lives. Okay, so born stress and uh, reduce anxiety. So he goes to get rid of his worries from the week. Okay? And at last, what does the man do on Sundays? He goes for a walk, he goes swimming, or he relaxes and watches TV. He goes for a walk. He goes for a walk. Let's see, listen. Uh, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it, she'll never buy the store. Okay, very good. Now, listen. Ah, let me see. Did we check the last one? Yeah, he goes for a walk, which is correct. He says, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Okay, now listen to the script, okay? Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You know, Robert Ben's at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> you know, Mondays and Wednesdays. Oh, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. <laughs> of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Uh, this helps me build muscle strength. I'm kind of warm, <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. With dog. Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. Well, as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. And, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy this story. <laughs> okay, good. Let's forget about the listening, okay? Let's go back to the book again. Okay, now here. How to use simple present with a third person singular? You remember? He makes many, many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers be on time. My boss talks about the new rules and the negative. She doesn't make many phone calls. She doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy doesn't send reports to the other companies. It doesn't help workers be on time. And my boss doesn't talk about the new rules. You remember that we say in affirmative for he, she, and it, the verb takes an S or an ES sometimes, right? But in the negative, the auxiliary is already conjugated in third person, okay? So the main verb goes, 
in a uh, in base form okay so the verb goes in base form why because the auxiliary is the inflection of do doesn't is the inflection of do i don't know if you remember this I don't know if you remember this, right? I, you, we, and they play. I don't play, do I play? Now, he, she, and it, he, she, or it plays, but he or she does not play. You remember? Okay, very good. So what I want you is complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. For example, what is number one? He orders. He orders, he orders everything, everything in, the in the office. Okay, so do the other one, two, three, four, five, six. Do it in your do it in your notebook, please. Hurry up. Do it in your notebook. Number okay. two, number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? Five minutes. Hurry up. And while you are doing that, I'm going to check attendance, okay? I'm going to check attendance again while you are doing that. Bessie and Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Andres Ramos Garcia. Eh, Cesar Eduardo Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Uh, Cristina Marisol Garcia Argueta. Delia Noemi Valiente. Present. Thank you. Enrique Américo Molina. Present. Thank you. Francisco Edgardo Méndez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jeremia Adonai Miranda. Jeremia Adonai Miranda. Karen Yesenia Lopez Martinez. Present. Eh, Katherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mario Mauricio Montano. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Ah, okay. Thank you. Eh, Ramon Alexander Mesa. Present. Thank you. Eh, Roberto Antonio Ortiz. Roberto Antonio Ortiz. Present. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Maricela Cepeda. Present. Mm -hmm. Cuando paso... Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Xochil sí. Eneida Vázquez Valencia. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline de Oribel Rivas. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jenny Suleima. Present. Thank you very much. Did you finish? Teacher, ¿puedo hacerle una pregunta? Dígame. Eh, perdón, pero en el, donde tenía la lista de asistencia vi que tengo como un tache rojo. Va, veamos. Ajá. Va, veamos. Ok, Karen Yesenia López, el primer día. El primer día que dice aquí por cuestión de labores. No responde a la llamada, les dejamos mensaje por doble P. Ok, esto fue un mensaje que le dejaron, ¿verdad? Fue por el, 
porque el segundo día tuvo, el día cinco tuvo cero minutos ¿verdad? entonces le llamaron y este cuando le llaman siempre cuando hay una falta queda en rojo el uno quiere decir que usted estuvo presente y el cero quiere decir que estuvo ausente ¿de acuerdo? de acuerdo Ok, eso es lo que significa. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Vaya, ok. Bien, ok, let's see. ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Todavía no? Yes, yes sir. Yes, ok, let's see. Number two. Amy and Teresa. As for the signatures every as, day. As for signatures every day. So number one here is uh, orders. Okay. Now number two here. As. 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 Only as. Okay. Very good. Number three, here. Doesn't, doesn't call. call the design department on the wheel. Yeah. Okay, so Helen. Doesn't call. Doesn't call. Doesn't, doesn't call. Okay, hold on. Let me see that I didn't see. Doesn't call the design. The, doesn't. The design department on weekend. Doesn't call. That's cool. 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 I think all the design department on weekends. Number four. She cleans. She cleans. She cleans. She cleans. She cleans desk in the mornings. Okay, very good. Number one. I write. I write. I write. I write. I ride with the things we need at 9 p.m. Then Mario. Doesn't, doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Okay, Mario. Doesn't keep. Okay. Doesn't keep. He buys. Record of the merchandise he. And here he you're going to put it. He. He buys. He buys. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, now that we are clear on this, here, I'm going to uh, role play this conversation by myself. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm. Uh, I'm okay. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Ah, on weekdays, I get up at five o'clock, I take a shower, no, I make my bed, I take a shower, then I get dressed, then I brush my hair, then I eat breakfast, then I teach a class, then I turn on the computer, etc., etc., etc. Is that clear? Vaya, pero fíjense bien, este ejercicio, este ejercicio, oígame bien, yo voy a tomar nota de lo que me dice mi compañero. ¿Por qué? Porque después lo voy a poner con otro compañero. Y usted le va a decir lo que hace el primer compañero que usted entrevistó. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Por ejemplo, si yo entrevisto a Oscar... 
aquí yo voy a decir, what about you and your partner? Ah, we, ah, per, perdón. Sí. Entonces voy a decir, ah, Oscar eh, gets up at five o'clock. He eh, makes his bed. He takes a shower. He gets dressed. Then he eats breakfast. Then he teaches a class. Then he turns on the computer. ¿Está claro? Yes. Yes? ¿Está claro para todo? Yes. Vaya, right, ok. So, ustedes tienen, you have to take notes. Tienen que tomar nota de lo que va a hacer su compañero. Ok. I'm going to... Eh, todos tienen el libro en la mano, ¿verdad? Hola. Yes. Si no lo tiene a la mano... Para, para tomar nota, coach. Sí. Si no lo tiene a la mano, acuérdense. Solo esto tiene que preguntar, ¿verdad? Hello, how are you? Ah, hello, I'm fine. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Y tomo nota de todo lo que me diga mi compañero. Cuando termine, cambio los roles. Le digo, hey, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm okay. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Y voy a tomar nota de todo lo que me dice mi compañero. ¿Está claro? Hola. Yes. Yes. Bye. Bye. Okay. Very good. Now let me. Let me. Okay. So. Okay. So now I'm going to recreate the A groups. Okay. Okay, Bessie and Oscar, room number one. Delia and Karen, room number two. Francisco and Jacqueline, room number three. Catherine and Sandra, room number four. Mario and Roberto, room number six. Eh, uh -huh. Ramon Alexander, by, uh, eh, Jenny, váyase a entre a la sala 6. Ok, Ginny, room number 6. Room, room number 6, Ginny. Y Enrique se queda conmigo. Mario, room number 5, Mario. Mario, room number 5. Ginny. No tengo, la, no tengo la invitación. No, a mí tampoco me aparece. Vaya, ahorita se la voy a mandar. Vamos a ver, Ginny. Mover a Salón 6 para Ginny. Vaya, a, la voy a mover al Salón 7, Ginny. ¿Ok? Ahora sí. Vaya, y Mario ya está ahí. Ok, Ramón, me tienen que preguntar a mí, Ramón. Ok, teacher. Hello, how are you? Ah, uh, hello, Ramón, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Great. I'm fine, thanks. Um, I have a question. Uh, what do you do on weekend day, oh, on weekdays? On weekdays, I get up at... Uh, Six o'clock in the morning, I make my bed. Then I take a shower. Then I eat breakfast. I turn on the computer. I teach a virtual class. Then I get dressed, I drive to a school, I teach more English, then I return home, I eat my dinner, 
Uh, what time is your return to home? I return home at 5.30, 6 o'clock, around that time. I eat dinner and I prepare for my 8 to 10 class. Okay. Okay? Right. Okay, that's what you have to tell your partner, okay? The teacher does this. Está clear? Está claro? Sí. Okay. Let me... Let me return everybody. Okay, everybody, very good. Now I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hoy vemos cada vez menos, thirteen. Okay, ahora I'm going to recreate the groups so you can talk about what the other person said. For example, Ramon is going to say, what are my daily activities? Is that clear? And you are going to tell what is the other person's daily activity. Okay, so I'm going to make seven groups. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, create again, but seven now. Ahead. Okay, Mario and Roberto, Enrique and Ginny, Catherine and Ramon, Delia and Francisco, Desi and Karen. De no, los mismos grupos, de nuevo. Con, sí. Con, con Enrique no. estaba, teacher. ¿Ah? Con Enrique estaba anteriormente. No, no, no. Enrique, vaya, lo voy a pasar a la sala 7 con Arnulfo, Ginny. Yo también estaba okay. con Mario en el grupo anterior. Ah, también, va, espérenme. Entonces vamos a. Va. What I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate, no problem, good to know. Ah, but we're gonna have to wait. Muchos tu, eh, se quedaron con la misma persona, así que vamos a volver a reasignarlos, ¿ok? Ok. No, I'm going okay. to reassign you again, ¿ok? No problem. Ok. Voy con Enrique. Un momentito, ya lo voy a decir porque como esto es al azar, cuando le damos aquí... Eh, no sabemos a quién le va a tocar con quién. Okay, <ríe> okay, vamos a ver. Eh, volver a crear, recreate, okay, recreate again. Ok, go. Jacqueline and Ginny, Mario and Roberto, Delia and Karen, Enrique and Francisco, Bessie Otra and Karen. Vez. ¿Con quién? Con Mario. Con Mario. Mario y Roberto, van a dar problema. Eh, Mario lo voy a mover con Ramón, ¿ok? No, Ma no, 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 no. Mario lo voy a mover con Ramón a la sala 7. Go. Ok, y Roberto, yo voy a entrar con usted, Roberto. Ok, Ginny, sala número 1. 
Sala número uno, Ginny. No me, no me parece la invitación. No le parece la invitación. Ok, ya vamos a ver qué pasó. Vaya, la voy a mover a la sala 7, pero no va a entrar ahí. Ok, y la voy a mover a la sala 1. Ahora sí entra. Ok, bien, y yo voy con Roberto, ok. Ok, hello. Me quedé, me quedé yo solo. Con... ¿Cómo que solo? ¿Está conmigo? No problem. Ah, estamos ya. ¿A quién entrevistó? A Mario. Va, dígame lo que hace Mario entonces. On weekdays. What does Mario do on weekdays? He drives to work. He do exercise. He does. Uh, ¿Se he, does he does exercises. Uh -huh. He does exercise and he works. He works. Son esas tres. Oh Son my tres. God. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what do you do, Roberto? What do you do on weekdays? On weekdays, I get up in the morning, I go to work, I do the reports. Okay. I send some emails. Okay. And I go to my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tiene que practicar más el vocabulario. Okay. So, I get up, I take a shower, I make my bed, I eat breakfast, I cook breakfast, I, I drive to work or I take the bus to work, I start work at 8 o'clock, etc. Okay? Okay. The more we practice, the better we get. Entre más practicamos, okay. lo mejor que nos hacemos. Okay. Now, it's time... For everybody. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, very good, very good. Jacqueline, Gloribel. Jacqueline, Gloribel. Okay, there you go, Jacqueline. Okay, very good. Okay, now, this is what we are going to do. We're going to go back to the book. Okay, and we're going to start talking as partners. Okay, this is daily routines. Ask partner questions about their daily routines and give answers. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we come over here to the book. Okay, so we are going to ask partners about their daily routines and give answers about my routine. For example, ask a classmate what he or she does every day of the week at his workplace, okay? Eso lo vamos a hacer mañana, okay? Porque lo acabamos de hacer y va a sonar muy repetitivo. Lo vamos a hacer mañana, okay? Read information about each person activities at the workplace. Oneida Chicas en Nelly Spineda. 
They create software. They repair computers. And they install antivirus. They don't sell computer programs. And they don't exchange information about programs. Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. They keep track of the sales. They write reports. They buy new merchandise. They don't receive money from sales. And they don't decide what to buy. Questions about pronunciation or vocabulary. No question, teacher. No questions. Everybody, no questions. No question. Okay, very good. No questions. Okay, now read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with a partner. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? No. No. Software. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yes, because they are creating software. But yes, here the answer is yes. They create software. They create software. Software. Okay? So yes, they create software. Okay? Oh. Missing the S right here. Yes, they create software. Now, number two, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No. 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 What is the answer? No. no. They, they don't. Is they installed. Wait, wait. They don't. They don't, they don't sell, they don't sell antivirus. antivirus. What do they do with the antivirus? They install antivirus. Okay, they don't sell antivirus. Antivirus. They install antivirus. Okay, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Do Ricardo? No, they don't. No? No, what? No, they? They don't, they don't what? They don't. They don't get money. Get money? From sales. From sales. Okay, very good. They don't get money from sales. Okay, very good. The next one. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes. 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 What? Yes. They. Yes. They. They. Right. Yes, they do. Right. Yes, they write reports. Right. Yes, they write reports, okay? Yes, they write reports. Okay, now the next one. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No. 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 No, no what? They do not repair computers. No. No. They don't. They don't repair computers. They don't repair computers. Okay. They don't repair computers. Now, do Oneida and Nelly install programs? 
Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No. 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 They don't. No. They don't. Don't. Program. No. They don't. They don't. Install programs. Install programs. They, what do they do? They, they install. They, they sell computer programs, okay? They sell computer programs. Okay, what I want you to do, así como yo contesté, espero que usted, como tiene el libro, conteste las preguntas del libro. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Yeah. Vale. Ok, vamos a dejar hasta aquí el libro y quiero irme ahora hacia eh, quiero venirme aquí a, primero, Aquí tengo ya la tarea 2. Hay alguien que no ha todavía terminado la tarea 1. Xochitl, le faltan dos tareas de la unidad 1 para que las termine. ¿De acuerdo? Teacher, de la 1 y a la... De, de la 1. Son cinco tareas y parece que usted solo ha hecho tres, Xochitl. Le hacen falta dos. Esa ya la hice, teacher. Ya la hice. Dos horas. Sí. Ah, espere, vamos, sí, a, espere, vamos a refrescar aquí. Puede ser. Esto lo tengo abierto desde hace un rato. Ah, sí, ya estuvo. Vaya, de acuerdo. Vaya, el resto ya pueden ir haciendo la tarea 1 y 2. ¿Ok? Ya podemos sí. ir haciendo la tarea 1 y 2. ¿Cuál es la tarea 1 y 2? Y por favor, contestemos las preguntas del post. Vale, esta es la videoconferencia de ayer. Aquí yo puse un post, Daily Routines. ¿va? Y aquí le puse esto y le pongo yo. Which of these activities are your daily routines? Entonces, usted tiene que contestar cuál de estas actividades son sus actividades diarias. Entonces, usted le pone aquí, I wash the car, I drive. Las que usted hace de aquí, unas tres, cuatro o cinco. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Hola. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Va, eso es en add a post. Usted se viene aquí, agrega y después le da submit. ¿Ok? Vaya. Pero usted también tiene que venirse a la siguiente. Tiene que venirse a hacer la tarea 6. Aquí está la tarea 6. Es de lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Preguntas y negativas. No, perdón. Afirmativas y negativas. ¿Se acuerdan? Ok, y ya puede hacer la tarea 7 también. Aquí mañana yo voy a subir el video y voy a poner también para que usted haga un post aquí. Y luego se viene a la tarea 7. Do you like music? Yes, I do. Or yes, I do. Mire, sencillo. Cinco preguntitas. ¿De acuerdo? Así que pongámonos al día para que mañana estemos al día con eso. Y el día viernes solo tengamos que hacer el midterm. Ah, no lo quiero asustar. El midterm, el examen, es las mismas preguntas que usted ya hizo en la tarea. ¿Me explico? O sea que si usted hizo bien la tarea en el examen, va, le va a ir súper bien también. ¿Sí? El examen es la sumatoria de todas las tareas. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. Vaya, entonces, vaya. Thank you very much for your time. 
Y me voy a quedar solo con Bessie, ¿verdad? Ok, Bessie. Vamos a ver si está aquí Bessie. Aquí está Bessie. Para el resto, thank you very much for your time and I will see you tomorrow. Ok. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. I will stay with Bessie. Ok. Bye. 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 Bye, Kathy. Ok, Bessie. Ok, ¿qué es lo que usted quiere que en estos 10 minutos? Esta es una sesión privada, solo usted y yo. ¿Qué quiere saber del programa? ¿Qué quiere saber de lo que hemos visto? ¿Qué quiere que le refuerce? ¿De lo que hemos visto o de lo que usted quiere conocer? ¿Del programa, de la plataforma, de lo que sea? ¿Me puede preguntar ahora? Eh, sí, yo eh, la semana pasada hice las tareas las eh, dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Espérenme, vamos a ver aquí. La 2, 3, 4 y 5, ok, eh, estamos hablando de la semana pasada. Sí, de la semana pasada, pero parece que en una te sacaste, una te salió mala, ¿verdad? Eh, eso quiero saber porque no, no me aparece a mí. Vaya, ya te voy a decir, aquí está, ve si, va, sí, una te salió mala, quiere decir que de las 20 que hiciste, vamos a ver en cuál te salió mala. ¿Ok? Ok. Ah, pero eso no lo puedo ver, Bessi. Eso no lo puedo ver. Mm. Ah, Bessi, el progreso. Ah, aquí está, ve. Va en el... Sí, pero no lo puedo ver. Aquí tendríamos que irnos, va. Fíjate bien lo que vamos a hacer, Bessi. Vamos a venirnos al curso... Y nos vamos a ir, eh, quiero ver, Student Manual, Instructor, quiero ver, vamos a ver si podemos, ah, aquí en Progress, ya me acordé, en Progress, ok, vamos a ver. Vaya, ¿cuál es tu correo, Bessie? Es Bessi. Bessi. M. 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 B de bueno. B de bueno. N de niño. N. D de dedo. D. Z. Z. Arroba gmail.com. Arroba gmail.com. Ah, aquí, ok, quiero ver. ¿Le estás viendo tu correo ahí en? Sí. Sí, está correcto, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Vale. Parece que hay un error este, en tu correo. ¿Estás segura que está bien? Bessi M B N D Z arroba gmail.com. M M M B D Z. Ah, D Z, sin la N. Vale, ok, vamos a ver. Vale, aquí sí va, pero volvemos a lo mismo. Vale, en la tarea número uno, vamos a ver, eh, aquí fue donde sacaste en la pregunta número uno, dos, tres, en la cuatro. Vale, entonces nos vamos a ir a la cuatro, ¿ok? 
Vale, nos vamos a venir aquí y me voy a ir a Course. Y aquí nos vamos a ir a la primera, en la número 4. Vale, aquí tenemos que irnos de regreso, de regreso. Vale, aquí la número 4 es la que tuviste mala. ¿Cómo le pusiste? Pero que no puedo ver. ¿No puede ver? No. Vale, espérenme, 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 espérenme. Quiero ver. Ta, 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 ta. Y ahora, en la número cuatro, ¿cómo le puso? Eh... Tenía que haberle ponido, debería que haberle puesto así, you are a mechanic. A mechanic. Ajá, esta es la respuesta correcta. You are a mechanic. Y ¿Ve? Y si le da... Ajá, no sé qué le pusiste, pero la respuesta correcta es esa, you are a mechanic. Ahora, yo creo que todavía la puedes corregir. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Así que sí. métase, métase y la corrige. La respuesta correcta es, you are a mechanic. ¿Ok? okay? Yes. Vaya. ¿Qué más, Bessie? Y quiero ver, eh, ahora recibí un, un mensaje. Ajá, ¿Qué decía el mensaje? Para la inscripción del módulo 2, pero no sé por qué me lo mandaron. Ah, bueno. La, la cuestión es que con dos semanas de anticipación, el equipo de inscripción recoge otra vez la documentación para poderte inscribir en el próximo módulo. O sea que a más tardar, dentro de, un, de unos tres días, creo que el viernes, ellos mandan la, la, la documentación para que al momento de que ustedes eh, comiencen clases, todos estén inscritos. Va para que aparezcan en la plataforma. Entonces, ese es el sentido, ¿verdad? Ellos mandan, va, por ejemplo, cuando vayas al 3, va a ser lo mismo. 15 días antes de que termine el curso. Te van a mandar también otra vez que a pedir la documentación para inscribirte al siguiente nivel. Y así va a ir sucesivamente en cada uno, ¿verdad? Sí, Ahora, sí, lo bien. que tú tienes que hacer es a, a ir al, de, al, al encargado de recursos humanos o al gerente, no sé quién tramita eso, y eh, apurarlo a él, ¿verdad? para que te, él entregue la documentación a, a, a inglés corporativo, para que quedes eh, correctamente inscrita. ¿Ok? ¿Qué otra pregunta tienes? Eh... Piensa, piensa. Bueno, Son 10 minutos que mira, aquí puedes preguntar lo que tú quieras. Acerca de la clase de ahora. Ajá, no, ¿qué pasó? Si se me hace difícil es el listening. Es el listening. Sí. Ah, no importa, no importa. Ok, el listening, eh, lo único que tú tienes que hacer, y si quieres, voy a mandar al, 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 al WhatsApp Group, voy a mandar un link, solo voy a mandar uno, con un montón de links. Con ese link, cuando tú ingresas a ese link, te va a dar un montón de links, de listenings que tú puedes hacer. ¿De acuerdo? Así como lo hicimos aquí en clase, así tú también los puedes volver a hacer en clase. O sea, ¿cuál es la ventaja? La ventaja es que los puedes oír cuantas veces sea necesario, cuantas veces tú quieras. ¿verdad? Y eso te va a ayudar a abrir un poco el oído. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Y no te preocupes, han hecho muy bien, la mayoría han estado trabajando, porque estos listening son un poquito más, no para el nivel de ustedes, son un poquito más avanzados, ¿verdad? Pero sin embargo, la mayoría de ustedes los han entendido, o medio entendido, ¿sí? O sea que no andan tan mal, ¿verdad? Pero sí, este, eh, yo le, ahorita les voy a mandar al, al WhatsApp Club, les voy a mandar un link 
de un montón de links para, eh, a, a, para que tú puedas mejorar tu eh, comprensión auditiva. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, de acuerdo. Okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra pregunta tienes? Eh, bueno, no sé si está bien que le notifique por acá, pero usted siempre pasa eh, lista y pregunta por un compañero Carlos. Él era mi compañero, pero él ya, ya no está en la empresa. Sí, va, pero lo, fíjate que Insafor nos pide que nombremos a todos los que están inscritos en la lista. Aunque ya no estén eh, ni laborando, porque Insafor no sabe de eso. Ahora lo que yo voy a hacer es informar al, al, al equipo de, de apoyo para que ya estén eh, al tanto. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama él? Se llama Carlos Andrés. Carlos Andrés Ramos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, él ya no está en la empresa, ¿verdad? Así es. Ah, vale. Entonces yo voy a poner esa notificación. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Bien. Okay. Excelente. Ya no te quito más el tiempo para que puedas descansar y que nos conectemos. Ahora, es importante conectarse a todas las clases. Porque Insafor no... O sea, ellos no cuentan las veces que tú te presentaste. No. Ellos te cuentan cuánto tiempo permaneciste en la videoconferencia. Y el, el 80% que ellos admiten de asistencia, los cuentan por los minutos, no por los días que apareciste, porque yo puedo entrar y salirme y aparecer que vine, ¿verdad? Pero como Zoom lleva en cuenta los minutos, entonces eh, no se pierdan ninguna videoconferencia. Además, que es para practicar, ¿verdad? Claro. Ok. 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 Bueno, te deseo buenas noches y que pases, eh, que descanses y nos vemos mañana. Eight o'clock. Ok. Ok. Bye bye. See you.